The screenshot feature will take a snapshot of whatever's on your screen here and insert it in your document wherever your cursor's at. So if I don't want to insert it there, let me put it down below here. And to go ahead and access the feature, come up and click on the Insert tab. Go to the Illustrations group, and there you go, Screenshot. Go ahead and click on the drop-down arrow. You get two options. You can take a snapshot of an entire window or screen clipping. First off, an entire window, and you'll see I've got two. But wait a minute. If you look down below on my taskbar, I've got quite a few windows. Why is it only seeing two and not all of them, like the Exercises folder? The reason being is because the others are minimized, and these two are, well, up and viewable. So if I come over here to the books, you see how it just pops up? If I come up here and minimize that down to the taskbar, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and click on screenshot. It's no longer there because it's minimized. It's not viewable. So I have to come back down below, click on the corresponding button to restore the window, then go back to my document, and then click on screenshot, and there we go. There's the books. Well, let's do this guy right here. How about the website? Click on it. Would you like to automatically hyperlink your screenshot to the URL of the captured browser window? So it knows that we're capturing a website, and so if you want to hyperlink, that when you click on it, it takes it to that website. In any case, I'll say no. And there you go. Oh, that's fancy. And so let's go ahead and delete that and go over the other options. Back up here to insert, go to screenshot. And this time I want a screen clipping, so we can go ahead and click on that. And then after a second, it turns from something clear to something milky, and you get a black cross. Well, I don't want the books. I want the website. I want to be able to select something from the website. Before I do that, so you know what you're looking at here, when you click and drag, it makes everything behind the milky film clear. And when you let go, that's what it's going to insert that portion or that clipping into your document. Let go, and there you go. Ooh, sweet. But like I said, I didn't want that. Let me go ahead and hit undo. Why is it bringing up books, and why not my website? Well, it'll bring my website up now because we have something called layering. What that means is that whatever the last window is you select is going to be on top. So if it's the books, when I do a screen clipping, that will be on top. If it's the website, and I go back to the document, and I want to do an insert, screenshot, to clipping, now that's on top. Wait for it. There you go. You get the black cross. Then you can go ahead and say, ooh, I'm something special. And select that. Automatically inserts that into the document. Some of this doesn't actually give us a true image to insert. It's kind of fuzzy. Word has some limitations and what it will show as clear and not. Sometimes it's easier just to go ahead and get the actual image and insert it by coming up here, click on the Insert tab as a picture. Oh, and as a side note, if you want to go ahead and hit the print screen key on the keyboard, well, if you're using a keyboard, there's actually a print screen that you can hit, and then do Control-V as in Victor to paste, and it will take a snapshot of your screen. Or if you want to hold down the Alt key and hit the print screen, that also does another variation of printing your screen. And then just Control-V as in Victor to paste that as well to see what you get. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.